Fiber. Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how I made the beat that you just heard in the beginning. Um, I'm going to show you how I made the loop, how I made the drums, um, yeah, just literally everything. Um, if you want any of my sounds uh, or loops, uh, you can go and check out the first link in the description. Um, there you find like 70 royalty free loops and everything else that I got up on my beat stars. Um, but now let's get straight into it. So right here, you can already see the project for the loop. Yeah, this is the first sound that I used. So it's just a nice plug melody. Um, you can, we can look at the melody um, right here. So I did not make the MIDI myself. Um, I used the MIDI from Ethan. Hey Ethan, you can see it up here. Um, yeah, so this is not my melody. Um, but like it is pretty simple so you just have some like chords right here these are like chopped up chords um, and then you have a nice top melody over it and a nice variation um, towards the end of the A part and also a variation towards the end of the B part um, just so it does not get too repetitive um yeah so this is like the first or like the melody the main melody um yeah this is the first sound and then uh, i layered it with this sound right here as you can hear it's the same exact melody um just another sound uh, the sound comes from a hive and a little thing that i did was i I had like another part for the melody, so I pitched it up an octave, you know, just so to give it an, a nice variation. So I did this with um, the plug I just showed you and the first plug as well. This is what uh, that sounds like. Yeah, so you can see like it's it gives it like a nice um, uh, switch up and a lot more energy towards uh, like for the for the B part of the hook um, Yeah, so I, uh, I did that for the first two plugs and then I laid it with a third sound from Electra X Same exact melody um, just another <laughs> another layer to it um, and then afterwards um, I added this brass sound right here. Yeah, this is a a nice brass just uh, to accent like the um, just to accent the melody really. Uh, then the bass, a simple bass from Zero. Um, yeah, just following the the root notes of the chords right here. Um, yeah, and then the top melody. I played this melody myself, so this is not from Hey Even. Um, yeah, just messed around on my uh, on my MIDI keyboard, and uh, that's what I came up with. Um, yeah, if you want an in-depth guide on like making melodies uh, and everything, you can check out this other tutorial that I made, um, where I just like explain everything that I do uh, regarding melodies and, and stuff like that. So you can go check that out as well. Um, but that's pretty much it for the for the melody. Yeah, this is what it sounds like all together. And then for the for the first part of the hook, I just have like these three layers playing. And then for the second part, I have the like switch up playing with the pitched up melody and the second uh, and the top melody. 
and then right here for the verse it's just um, the, the normal melody and again the switch up the pitched up version and then I also have like the stems playing at the end of the sample just so when I send it out like people can do whatever they want um, with this loop and they don't have to stick with my arrangement um, at the start um, yeah so that's pretty much it for the for the loop um, for mixing I didn't really add anything um, I just added like a Valhalla vintage verb some reverb and um, some EQ to cut out the lows on every single sound um, so it's nothing special just the same on every on every every layer but now let's uh, move on to the drums so this right here is the project for the drums mm, you can see the loop right here uh, and then you got all the drums over here some automation clips right here and uh, transitions and finally the tag um, this is how I structure all my beats really um, uh, yeah so I just have the loop playing with my arrangement that I did first and then I cut out um, the lows from the from the loop because there were there were some loop uh, some uh, lows in it uh, which I have to cut out like um, afterwards um, but in the first part in the intro and like the the, the break right here it just uh, there's a bass playing so I do not want to cut out the bass obviously <laughs> um, so I have this uh, automation clip which like only cuts out the bass um, where the 808 is hitting so um, yeah I started with the with the 808 um, let's listen to that This is the 808 right here, um, just following the root notes and like simple bounce, nothing too crazy. Um, I have this high uh, note at the end just to like give it, like to spice it up and give it variation and some some more energy. Um, yeah, then clap, nothing <laughs> nothing special really, just, uh, just a basic clap. And then uh, the snare. Um, nothing special, but at the end I added this little roll right here. I think this is like a, um, a nice nice transition uh, into the second part of the hook. Um, it just adds a lot of energy and yes, I think it's sick. Yeah, it, it adds a lot of energy just. Um, and then the hi-hats. Yeah, hi-hats with some rolls to accent like the bounce and the 808. Um, and then I added this open hat uh, at the second part of the, of the ho hook. Yeah, <laughs> what was that? Um, yeah, it just plays like that and it adds a lot of energy as well. And then for the verse, I cut out the hi-hats um, until the clap is hitting. Um, I cut out the drums right here just to like add a nice variation and like a nice transition. And then right here, just in the verse continues um, and it goes back into the break and the hook again. Um, yeah, a little thing that I did at the end was uh, this halftime thing right here. Let's listen to that. I think this uh, like is a nice outro, you know. Uh, it adds a lot of, a lot of feeling, a lot of vibe. It's, it's I like that. Um, the way I did this, I just put halftime on my master um, and put it on the 1.5 option. Added a automation clip and like put it at the end. 
Um, and then I have like this automation clip right here just to fade out the audio. Um, yeah, and then the transitions right here. Yeah, it's a nice build up and then it goes into the hook. Um, yeah, for mixing, uh, like on the 808, I have this EQ right here and I added a little bit right here as well. The clap, a little bit of reverb, not like extremely low. Um, and then the, uh, the EQ on the clap. Same thing on the, on the rim or like the, the snare. <laughs> um, and then the hi-hats, I have this effect tricks on, on the hi-hats um, just to spice it up a bit. I also made a short tutorial on this, so you can go and check this out. Um, yeah, just effect tricks to reverse the hi-hats at certain parts. And then the panomatic just to, you know, give it like some room and um, let the hi-hats move a little bit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the drums. Yeah, nof nothing, nothing crazy, just uh, some simple drums um, on that loop. And I think this beat has a lot of energy. It's a nice vibe and it's, uh, it's in my opinion, it's perfect for, for Uzi. So go and send him this video right here, just so he can see this and hop on this beat. <laughs> um, nah, but for real, um, send this to all your producer friends. Um, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that YouTube stuff. If you want uh, any of my sounds, of my loops, uh, you can go and check out my loop kits that I have. I have several several loop kits out on my BeatStars. Um, yeah, also a one-shot kit, so you can go and um, support me in that way. I would really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, have a great day.